Here we are with this 1998 Formula 34 PC that's been completely refurbished by Waterworks Mobile Marine Service, one of our top mobile mechanics here in Orange County. This 34 Formula has two brand new 8.1 Merc Cruiser EFI engines in it that come with a full three-year warranty. Coming down along the side, we see we've got a nice hull, custom colored bottom paint, there's that famous Formula Thunderbird logo, and then here at the transom, this will give us a view. of our underwater systems. Oversized rudders, counter-rotating bronze props, underwater lights, brand new trim tabs, and a brand new trim tab zinc. Looking up, we see we've got the entry, and at top of the arch, we've got a new Garmin radar unit with GPS and chart plotter. Down along starboard side we get to see a few other nice features on this formula. Stainless steel port lights, higher rail, and back to the bow right here. For those that want to ask, the trailer is not included. From here, we're going to launch and go on the shakedown cruise on this formula. Here we have this 1998 Formula 34 PC with two brand new engines, sh strutting her stuff, doing a nice pirouette on the water. Got a nice port side view here. And there's our starboard side. New bottom paint, lots of new R&R. &R. back at the dock with this 1998 Formula 34 PC after a successful sea trial. We got the engines up over 46, almost 4700 RPMs with a speed of 40.1 miles per hour. That's a lot of boat to move that fast. We had four people on board. Let's check her out sitting here. Starting off at the bow, we see we've got a nav light, brand new gear, brand new bulb. We've got the windlass and, of course, docking lights. Coming down along starboard side, take note of that custom color bottom paint, which is brand new. The vessel has been buffed, waxed, ready to go for the season. Classic formula colors. There's our 34 PC and our badge right there. Let's go aboard. We have a large molded in swim step. And we can see our boarding ladder.
Once aboard the vessel, we enter through this starboard door right in front of us. We have a little wet bar. And then off to port side, we have our table, which actually lowers for a sun pad and lots of seating here. This seating, by the way, folds into the transom, so we have lots of open cockpit space. Moving forward, up one step to the helm, we see we've got a very nice padded helm seat right here with the thigh rise bolster so we can drive standing up. We've got the Lavorsi separate shifter and throttles, searchlight control, stainless steel ship's wheel. Here at the dash, all of our gauges are brand new. And then here we have our Garmin GPS map 741XS, brand new radar unit and then we have a brand new GPS Standard Horizons VHF radio. Formula does a great job with engine access. We've got a hydraulic hatch right here and with the push of a button, up she comes. We don't even have to remove the tables. We do have to make sure the transom door is closed. This gives us an overview of the engine space. We've got lots of access to those new 8.1 Merck Cruiser freshwater cooled engines. While they were out of the vessel, we RNR'd the transmission, put in new drop dripless packing on the shafts, painted the bilge, added new batteries, and all new hoses. Right underneath, We see we've got our Kohler generator, 7.5 generator with only 18 hours on it. We've got a Halon system off in the corner and four new batteries. This engine compartment's easy in and easy out. When finished, just push the button. Here's another view of the cockpit. As you can see, we have all the seating stowed away into the transom inside. Gives us a nice room should we decide to fish. Bow access is nice and easy. Up one step. You can see we have a nice wide walk around right here. Down below we've stored a nice four deck cushion. And here at the bow we have our spotlight and our windless anchor line and chain all neatly stowed. This gives us an aft facing view on this formula. We enter the cabin through the center line door and down a few steps. Once inside the cabin, we see we've got lots of headroom off to port. We've got a nice galley, some cabinets up above, TV, storage, and a microwave. Notice lots of counter space here. Built-in blender. We've got our trash chute right here, and then hideaway storage there. Nice marble countertop, imitation, dual burner stove, and then below we have a refrigerator. Cabinet storage, by the way, these all light up when you open, and then drawer storage right there. 
moving forward. Behind the privacy curtain, we have an oversized queen size island bed step up. There's storage up underneath. We also have gunnel storage and an overhead hatch with a couple port lights. Circling around, we see we have a mirrored hanging locker that's cedar lined. Coming about, we have our U-shaped dinette, which also converts to a sleeping area. There's our air conditioning controls right there. More port lights. Notice how bright this formula is. We've got multiple ha overhead hatches, lots of side port lights. Right there, we have our power panel, AC, DC, generator controls all right there. Circling behind us, we see we've got a large mid-cabin with more hanging storage. Right there. And then back here, we actually have, in this area, we actually have seating area with a high, uh, with a cocktail table, or it can be lowered, obviously, for yet another sleeping area. There are the filler cushions right there. Off to port, we have an extra large head, vacuum flush toilet. Couple LLI ladylike it features here are it's fully lined fiberglass, and there's a shower curtain that goes circles around so that the vanity stays nice and dry. This formula has been gone through by a professional mechanic. The engines come with three-year warranty. The boat is clean, beautiful inside, bright and airy. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yacht.